My name is Kenneth, and I've been living out of my truck camper for a year now. It's been an absolutely crazy trip. I couldn't have asked for anything more. 49 states, over 365 days, more than 40 national parks, countless state parks and other parks, countless campgrounds. Slept at so many Walmarts and Cracker Barrels, I can't even add it up. And I really wanted to share with you the vehicle that has made this all possible. So I bought this truck new. It's a 2021 Ford Ranger Lariat. I've put about 45,000 miles on it. I didn't really do too many upgrades to it. Did come with slightly better tires than usual. I don't know, I think that's about it. I did get some Rhino Rack roofing bars and I attached to it a Rhino Rack Batwing awning. That's a 270 degree awning that you see me using right now and Usually when I set up camp, I pop out the Batwing. That has been an awesome addition to this trip, and I really suggest it because it can help you get out of the rain, the sun. It makes it look pretty badass too, I don't know. So we'll start at the front here, open these couple doors. I really wanted a second row of seats for storage, but I didn't feel like I needed the whole row. I don't know exactly what the terms are, super cab, super crew, something like that, but this is basically the version with a half door and I think it's perfect. So in this container, I have my blackout curtains and these are my mosquito nets if you wanna roll the window down and cover them with uh, these nets. But I have never used these, I use these all the time. Basically, it's magnetic. So you can just stick the magnets up against the truck. If you're in kind of a sketchy area or just anytime at night, and stick those up there. I have two for this side, two for the other side. Also, if I'm just sitting in a parking lot working on my laptop, I kind of throw them up so people don't look in and judge and stuff. <laughs> So up here, I have all my camera stuff. I have a full bag of camera stuff here, a bunch of different GoPro components and accessories. I have my drone sitting out here in case I want to use it this morning. Some more lenses and accessories. So I basically keep all my camera stuff here as accessible as it can be. I usually keep my towel up here. My raincoat as accessible as possible right here. Moving on, I have my Jackery solar panel. So I keep my Jackery behind this seat right here. As you can see, it's charging my lantern and my speaker. So I have my Jackery plugged into the truck right here and I have my Jackery plugged into my fridge which is on the other side I'll get to that in a second besides that I just have clothes on this side I have three suitcases of clothes this is all my my shirts probably 20 or 30 of them here I try to have about a month's worth of clothes so I only have to do laundry 13 times during this trip I could have done it a lot more all my shorts and pants and this one and underneath that are my sweatshirts and um, cold weather clothing in this one. This Garmin GPS has gotten me in and out of a lot of situations, so I'm definitely thankful for that. I have my hat up here, my sunglasses that are broken and that have been broken since Alaska. Drink koozie that I got from Boquillas, Mexico at Big Bend National Park. Moving on to this side of the truck. I have my little ice scraper behind the seats here that has only been in use the past month or so. I've used it a few times. My water jug here, which... You can definitely hear the ice sloshing around in there as it gets cold at night. This is six gallons, and I would say it's not one too many. More duffel here for all my socks and underwear. It also has my hats and I think an orange hunting vest that someone gave me just in case I need that as well. So that's that and here is the big honker. This is the Dometic fridge. I'll find the exact SKU or version of the fridge that I use. But it has been a lifesaver. Just the fact that you're able to keep fresh food. You can store fresh food that you just cooked and you want to save for the next meal or the next day. For obvious reasons, everyone should have some sort of cooler or fridge. All right, on to the meat and potatoes of this awesome presentation. Yeah, I don't know, I keep my trash just right here. Behind there is my box of food. This is filled up usually. Now it's pretty sparse towards the end of the trip. Got some uh, minute rice, some tortillas, some canned beans, breadcrumbs, 
more beans, some oats, some snacks back there, some, uh, some hot sauce up here. Here's a little shovel, a folding shovel that you recently saw in my New Hampshire video when it was snowing. My day pack slash gym bag goes here, boots, other shoes. So I have my tent right there, my ground cloth right next to it, and my backpack just stuffed in the corner there. Keep my bear spray pretty handy towards the front of the truck just in case non-bears threaten me also. Time for the big reveal of the drawer. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a little lopsided. First we have some propane bottles, aluminum foil, my cleaning gear, use a sponge, a towel, and some dish soap for cleaning, some utensils and smaller bowls and stuff like that here. Underneath the stove I have my cutting boards and a cast iron griddle right there that I use from time to time. There it is. Here's all my cooking utensils. I have tongs, I have can opener, several different knives, measuring cup, even these little steaks for grilling, countless other things, knives, coasters, uh, peelers, things like that. So all my cooking gear, I have all my spices right here, salt, pepper, cumin, sunny Spain seasoning, Italian herb mix, cinnamon, onion powder, lemon pepper, garlic powder, all sorts of stuff. Shout out to my parents for setting me up with this. A lot of different Penzi spices. Keep my plate there along with my pans, and things like that. Right now it's dirty, so it's not gonna go in there. You need to clean that up. Under bottle with some uh, Tupperware, some cheap Tupperware that I can use to store food. Pots here, there's a second bigger pot and then a camping pot that goes there. Here's uh, some mixing bowls and some eating bowls if I ever need it. Various kitchen stuff that I don't really use. This is for coffee and a thermos to keep things hot. Some Ziploc bags, another thermos, an alcohol mixer thingy, a mug. I have this little makeshift hammer that unscrews and it has mini screwdrivers inside of it. I've used that at least a couple times on random things, but as well. And this has multiple different sides to it that you can use and attachments. My dishwashing stuff you can hang this bag for dishes. This is a collapsible bag if I ever want to use that for dishes. You can see there are probably eight different leveling pads there. Bushcraft outdoors rain fly that I haven't used once. <laughs> this coiled rope that I haven't used once either. And back here I have my a water filter for backpacking collapsible stove a stick stove basically this is a windscreen for a stove here's another folding collapsible bag for doing dishes or i've used this to shower a couple times as well a hammock that once again i have not used once this whole trip and lastly i have another tupperware that just has some garbage bags some extra sponges and a few more little hand wrenches in there, just small tools. All right, last step, let's hop in the back here. I'd film it with my GoPro, but fortunately I just broke it. This is the back of my home. This is where I spend a decent amount of time. I just have this uh, Teton Sport mattress, two inches at the most. It's, it's pretty small. This bendy twist tie attached here. So I could tie it from this bracket that attaches my truck shell to the actual truck. And I can tie it in between this little rod right here and create an overnight lock. It's a decent lock. I mean, it's not going to stop anyone if they're actually going to rob you and you're not there. They can just cut it. I only used it on the first like week or so of my trip. And then I realized if anything were to happen back here, I would rather be able to get out quick than to be locked inside my truck. Any sort of gas leak happened, any sort of fire, any time where the truck could like roll off of a hill. But I would rather open this really quick and be able to hop out rather than 
be stuck in the trunk. That's like my nightmare is being stuck in here. I have two different sleeping bags. This is my zero degree bag right here that I've been using. This is my 20 degree bag that I use for backpacking. And I just kind of prop it up here as my backrest. I had two pillows. I left one of them with my parents in Minnesota on accident. But before that, I had two pillows here. As you can tell, I have my blackout curtains that my mom made. These have been absolutely amazing. They work really well this morning i woke up it was like 10 30 completely bright outside i thought it was like six in the morning so they just have these magnets right here so she sewed washers inside of the curtain and we have these strong magnets that we just attach to and it's super easy we have like four of them on each side their wool blanket here that has been really nice keeps me warm i keep all my laundry in a bag pretty close to here Laundry definitely accumulates and you don't want to bring too many clothes because you don't want to have like three or four laundry bags back here. If you have a better setup for laundry, that's like the one thing I wish I did different. Whether it was make room up in the front for laundry or a different type of bag or just bring less clothes and do laundry more. I don't know. So if you're living in a van or a, uh, a truck or even an RV and you have a better laundry setup, definitely help me out with that one because that is something I would change for next time i have a fishing rod here that is kind of looped through the brackets for this truck here i have a camping seat just a seat i can use whenever it's just you know foam it's funny that it's thicker foam than my actual mattress i have my backpacking folding sleeping pad right here that sometimes i put under this pad for extra protection but once again i'm lazy there's some odds and ends back here in the corner there's a little yoga mat for more storage back here i have these milk crate type thing extra toiletries medicine toothbrush toothpaste razor things like that bag of foam earplugs just in case i didn't buy a like 10 pack or anything i bought a 100 pack that i probably used 10 or 20 times i have more books down here I do have my carbon monoxide detector back here In this milk crate, I have some more stuff. I have a little mini stroller fan from Amazon, um, hand warmers, some body wipes that I use as a shower when I don't have a shower. I have some laundry detergent, Tide Pods. Got a extra dried stink bug. That's not good. All sorts of stuff here. Duct tape, super glue. Some more of these bendy thingies. Uh, extra knives, some colored pencils, batteries, and I just have my uh, my suit folded up here with my dress shoes under there. Definitely not the most ideal situation. I probably should have shipped that back home. Back here is my bear barrel I have for backpacking trips and to store food. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for checking out my setup. If you have watched any of my videos, if you have watched five seconds, if you've watched five videos, if you've watched five hours, whatever it is, thank you so much for uh, you know being there with me along this journey. If you have any questions about this setup, I'll try and put some more details in the description and probably some pictures and words along the screen of certain items as I mention them. But if you have any questions about it, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have suggestions for upgrades or different systems that you use for cooking, cleaning, laundry, um, battery, fridge, saving space with storage, if you have any suggestions that you use that you think I could use as well, that would be fantastic. I don't know. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything. <laughs>